All right, guys, uh, welcome to the show. Looks like I'm doing another episode of uh, window shopping, online window shopping of knives. So we're doing condor, tool, and knife. I use uh, I use a lot of these guys' um, blade blanks. They're a high carbon steel. They are uh, they're they're pretty well made, and then I've used them for to make knives uh, for you know people for like Christmas presents and stuff like that. So let's start with the outdoors knives. So they hold up really well. They they're like I said, they're all like ten fifty and ten sixty carbon steel, at least so far as the blanks that I've looked at that I've had, you know, uh, chief knife, let's see, $123, wow, I might have to, that, that looks like a proprietary condor tool and knife, da, 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 series of numbers, that's stock, okay, blade, okay, so material is a Sandvik 14C28N, Wow, okay. So that's a Scandinavian type steel. That's interesting. I like sheep's foot blades. They're uh, quite useful. That handle looks like it would shake your hand back. So yeah, I'm digging that. What's the handle material? Where's the grind? Hand handle micarta. Okay. Yeah, cool. What kind of sheath we looking at? That looks like a pretty bulky Kydex, but uh, looks like it's also like you can run a belt through there, you know, and you can undo that. You could put it, you could zip tie it or tech clip it somewhere. So that's cool. Options. Options are always cool. Probably something really similar. My card a handle. I'm just going to assume these are the same blade steel because the XERO. Yes, yeah, Sandvik 14C28. That's like a, it's like a uh, medium carbon, like a higher carbon, higher end of the medium carbon steel. Wow, they're making slingshots. That's cool. That's legit. What are we looking at here? 420 HC. Honestly, buck knives make a lot of blades out of that, so that's good. That means they're not you're not gonna have to maintain it much, and it fit flat in your backpack. That's awesome. I like that. Good stuff right there. Wow. Okay. So look at this. 144 bucks for that, but that's like a quality machete. That's not like a plastic handle. You know a workhorse what are we looking at 1075 carbon steel nice i like it a convex grind whoa i don't know let's find of course my phone's freezing up all right i don't know that might not be convex that's hard to tell on there it says it's convex that's great if it's convex but that's the best that's what i do to all of them oh walnut handle Yep. Okay. Everything about the super do 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 do. So it's a scaled down version of one of their other ones. Nice. I like it. Very cool. Primeval cleaver. I'm not gonna like go into every single one of these. Kind of gonna kind of look around and see what catches my eye. You know. Now this is cool. I like this idea. Right? You got a sheep's foot blade, and then you have a dual thing, so you can have a different edge back there. A surveyor knife. Huh. What are we looking at? 440C stainless. Okay, come on, guys. Yeah, I don't care about... I don't like that. That means it's a chromium steel. It's not like the HC, like buck knives. That sucks. Gosh, that's so otherwise so cool. That's not exactly a wind. I'm 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 surprised to see that out of Condor. Well, I wonder what the reason is. And there's no description down here. Maybe there's a reason. Maybe I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna hold out for a reason. Maybe it's the fact that it's such a niche market, so no sense in making a using a higher end steel. 
Now, I don't like the blade steel, but I like that idea. What's with that? It's a surveyor's knife. Let's check this out. pass all right let's look at this machete see if that's got the 420 um nope that's nice 1075 maybe it's just meant for lighter duty you know let's go back down there real quick maybe it's meant for lighter duty looks like pretty big for meant for lighter duty i like it i just wish it was a better steel a wooden knife kit yeah that's like for your kids like first knife that's cool blue river knife that is pretty that is nice. I'm going to assume anything with that patina is probably high carbon. I like those Blue River ones. I like that. Blue River Tomahawk. The Balam Knife. Let's check this out. 1075. Micarta handle. Man, they like this Micarta. Which I like Micarta too. It's kind of got a wood grain look but it's not really wood grain. Yeah. All right, let's get out of the outdoors knives. There's a lot more than that, but I'm just looking around. Let's look at these martial arts knives. Woo! All right. Everybody loves a sword. Nice. 1075. Convexed. Man, I don't know. Are these actually convexed? It looks like it might just be like a straight grind. But I like that. That bandolier on the sheath. Like every time I get a sword, it's like they don't really put any serious thought into the scabbard, right? Like, are you going to actually use this reminiscent of Caribbean Buccaneer? Caribbean Hunter specialized in Buchan culinary. Art considered grilling, smoking, be poor, and abandon their daily and become pirates originally from the island. Oh, very cool. So they got a little bit of historical significance there. We got a wooden sword. Is this like a, like a Boken? Is it like a authentic masterpiece with uh, a training? Because uh, actually a new version of the jewels designed to support the huge and epic battles of Young Bridge. So yeah, it's like a Boken and stuff. I'm not spending that much money, but pretty cool. Um, wooden spear. Guess I can guess that it's made out of wood. Rubber knives. That's cool. Wow, this is with the 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 martial arts knives. I like this, man. I I don't have a sax. I might get one. American hickory on the handle. Nice. I like it. Man, I'm I'm digging these uh, traditional ones here. This is very much like your Hele Viking knife right there, Norse dragon knife. That's very cool. I like that. Argyle Scottish Machete. 1075 Blast Satin. I like satin finishes. I like them. Walnut, handcrafted, welted leather. Where, let's see the sheath. Pretty normal sheath. All right, let's keep going. A falchion. Walnut handle. Convis Man, I don't know. I, I want to see one of these. I want to see one. That's cool. They got they paid attention to the balance, it says. Tactical gladius sword. I'm not going to bother. I, I'm going to keep looking at stuff. Wooden swords. A messer. Kind of like the gross messer. The big knife in German. Flat grind with a set. So, I mean, they're pretty pragmatic. They're not just throwing convex on all of them. This is a flat grind with the second. So, it's a flat grind, which makes sense because it's a messer. Check that out. Yep. See, there you go. You got a second bevel. Very cool. 
Very cool if you're into Messers. I'm not. There's the gross Messer. There you go. Ooh. Oh, that's going above my TV, man. My wife would love that. I'm going to have to send that to her. This is like an Ulf Bert. Ulf Bert. Oh. Finished polished convex sword, hardwood with leather wrapped scabbard. Oh, man. I'm digging that. I like that. What happened? Why is it that way? I'm digging that. I like that. I got a katana that I'm going to make. It's going to be better than this one. See, what I wonder... See, I'm really I'm really finicky on katanas. I like there to be a legit homon line. Let's see if this guy's... I'm not even seeing a homon. So, they got a whole set. That's cool they got a whole set. But they're full tang. I mean, yeah, that's cool. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's take another breeze through... Whoa. Tactana, so a micarta handle and like a coated blade, but it still's got a habaki right there. That's a habaki, and um, I I have a tactical katana that uses a ricasso instead of that, and I agree with that decision. All right, uh, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? We got uh, throwing, cool. Cantina axe, so like your your bars, ten sixty carbon steel, very cool. Nothing, nothing too fancy. Extra handle, full spin thrower, ten seventy five. Could do all sorts of throwing with that. So I'm not gonna like look at them. Three for a hundred and something dollars. I wonder if they're differentially ten tempered. Let's see, because I think cold steels are all just spring-tempered. I would like to see differential-tempered. Um, I'm seeing no description. Maybe a little more communication, guys? Ooh! A false edge? Well, you know, they're pointy. That works. 420 HC. You know, I get it because people are just going to junk them. And I get it for something like this, but I wouldn't spend the price on that. I, I don't like that. I want a carbon steel. Come on, man. I want them to rust so I can throw them at my enemies and give them lockjaw. That's what I want. This is cool. I, I get. I got a bad feeling that's... Nope, that's not. That's good. Okay. Because it looks like what would be... See, don't get the stuff at the truck stop that looks like this. Just just go to Gondor and get the right one, man. I wonder about the tempering, though. Would they differentially temper or are they just like spring temper all that? Let's try these tactical blades. What are they calling tactical? I like that. I like push daggers. It's cool. Man, that's kind of rough, though. That does not look like it's very, very finely, like, ground. Looks like I, you know, my kid did it with an angle grinder. That kind of sucks. But it might be good. It looks like that's the aesthetic they're going for. I like that. What's the handle material on that? Paper micarta. That's why it's so fine looking. I'm digging that. I can I I could wrap my head around this. Is that a hollow grind? Let me just go back over here. Flat grind. Man. You know how cool that would be with a hollow grind? Bolo Machete, Sigurn, Greyfus Bowie. Oh, okay. That's cool. Net Gladius. That's cool. A Belgian buoy. Little buoy. Pander Knife. I mean, that's cool. I think this looks cool. And I think you can get it for cheaper than that on Amazon. And I think if I'm going with Kukri's guys and they're not like Nepalese, I think I might go with this over Cold Steel. I literally know a lot of people that have bought both of them, and they're like, yeah, you can just, look at that. You can just, just annihilate these things, and they don't fall apart. But cold steels, because they have, see, look, this is a really stout grind. Cold steels are like full flat grind, full from the bo top of the bottom of the edge, you know, as where this is uh, uh, with a secondary, 
It says convex, which would be awesome, and that is traditionally correct. But uh, we'll see. <clears throat> I might get one. That's my, that, that might have to go on a list. I don't have any kukri. I have a pocket kukri. But the skirmish knife, operator buoy. I want to see their their buoy buoy. Where is that thing? I like a German aviator sword. I think that's cool. That yo shimmy. Come on, guys. Engineer bolo. All these are cool things, man. Like if you like it, you do it, man. The Discord machete. Man, come on. I thought I I thought it would be here. Well, you suck. All right, so it's not there. I already did outdoors. I did martial arts, hunting, during survival, kitchen. I guess let's look at hunting. Cool. Is that a... Uh, I'm digging that. I don't know why I'm digging that. That's like a good... Almost like a survival... No! Well... 440 chromium. I mean, okay, guys, that's the same stuff that your truck stop knives are made out of, okay? It's probably tempered better and heat treated better and thermocycled and stuff, but, you know, I just don't like when I see that blade steel. Come on. Well, let's look at that price again. At least it's under 100 bucks. Cold steel and CRKT. Y'all do that too. That's cool, cool, good, simple knives, simple knives. That looks pretty useful, so almost like a Canadian knife, like those Canadian, like, belt knives. I always thought this is a good idea, right? Like, you could use them like little arrowheads and stuff. I wonder how big they are. It says it's a spear. 1075. Why didn't you do 1075 out of your shurikens, guys? I bet you could throw that. All right. Let's go to survival. Okay, so this is the dark. Ooh, that's like a bush lore. It is one of the, uh, the aqua lore. So I've gotten the blade blanks that are for this, and I've done the handles up as Christmas presents. I like the dark lore. That's cool. Uh, kind of a Scandinavian grind. That's surprisingly thin blade, though, but very good steel. 1060 heritage axe that's cool oh it's like a folding bush lore let's look at that nice i can make that look real cool with my wood burner man 1095 nice scandy grind i like it I like it, it. It works as a modern folder. Look at that. It works like a modern folder, but it has a traditional look and feel. I love that. I think there needs to be more of a market for that. I bet that I bet it's there. I like all these little folding knives. Yeah, very cool. These are kind of like your answers to like the Mora knives, not too much money. Let's look at the blade steel. 56 bucks. 56, 1095 high carbon steel. Yes, maybe you'll have to clean it. Oh no. Sorry, hun. I got to pull the knives out and clean them because I live in Michigan, Mr. Truax. Uh, I live in Michigan and it's humid and I got a carbon steel blade. Sorry, hun. I got to take the time to clean my knives. Lost Roman knife. That's interesting. They better have a description. London, one of the lost riverbeds, deep underground, was excavated archaeological, uh, a treasure trove of artifacts from the Roman Empire. That is awesome. The lost Roman knife is based on iron that was found at the dig, with more modern materials such as 1075. Okay, yeah, very cool. Um, Helle did something like that with their Viking knife, where they they they're not far from the factory there was a viking dig site where they found a knife and they said let's literally make a version of this but you know slightly modern so that was cool cavalier knife compact kep heart there you go there you go guys i like kep hearts you can get the blanks as a kep heart and do that and i like to do that for 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 christmas presents and stuff like that they have more than this guys like you can go 
on Amazon. I, I feel like their website's lacking or something. Well, I don't like faux Flint Nap. I'm not into that. Oh, I bet I'm going to see this other one that I saw that I really liked on Amazon. Because they got these primitive bush knives and stuff. There you go. There's the bush lore. It's a good knife, man. Good, simple. Nothing fancy knife. It kind of looks like the steak knives from, like, crappy buffets. But, I mean, I promise it's better. (laughs) But I promise it's better than that. I think you can get them for a lot cheaper than that, too. Wow, you can get a micarta one? Nice. Mini bush lore, very cool. Mini bush lore, swamp romper, bushcraft, basic. Where's the? A- There's the cap heart. That's nice. I made one one of those for my neighbor with deer antler and uh, alder on the handle. I like that they're coating the blade. The wood law. I was thinking about getting one of those blade blanks. You can get the blade blank for like twenty bucks and throw your own handle on it. Just so you know. Iron path, iron path. Oh, there you go. On Amazon, they're cheaper. See, you got the Kephart, you got the Bushlore, and you got the Woodlaw. Very cool. I think all companies should take a lesson out of some of this stuff. Why not have blade blanks, man? Like, if I could get an SRK with a blade blank, or like a Marauder from Cold Steel, or if I could get the uh, the Seal, if I can get any one of the Seal blades from SOG, that would be, if I can get just the blanks, I would be a ba- very happy man. Oh, man, that reminds me of my hatchets growing up, man. It's a campsite. It's a hatchet, guys. Very cool. I love tomahawks. Very cool. All right. Come on. Like, there was this one. What was the name of that knife? I saw it on Amazon. I think this is cool. Camping hatchet. Yeah, that's cool. But... I think that's just about it, unless I want to look at kitchen kitchen knives, right? Ulu knives, why not? A, a meat love knife. Bush slicer, that's probably awesome. Think about that, your fingers are there. And uh, so when you're cutting into stuff, it's not going to get, you're not going to hit your fingers on the, on the table, right? Because that's mainly what you're doing, you're slicing and stuff. Yeah. And that's, like, when they say butcher knife, that's, like, legit butcher. Like, I'm butchering, you know, stuff. And that's 1075. Connor is designed for the passionate butcher. Grilling and art and lifestyle. Tom! Tom, there's a knife for you. And only 40 bucks at a good blade steel. Honestly. You can make your own sheath. Walnut, flat grind with a second bevel, 1075 carbon steel. Man, that's, there you go. Um, The cleavers. Why would you name something like that? Santoku, very cool. All right, let's see more. Man, how long is this video? I don't care. All right. I, f- I feel like that's everything every day. Let's look at that every day. Man, they have a buoy that I missed. Yeah, these are all cool. Let's see the price on these. They look awfully little for 80 bucks though. But that Sandvik, that's like a medium carbon steel. So there you go. High impact polypropylene. Okay. Let's assume you can get it cheaper on like Walmart or Amazon, right? Okay, I need to look for this buoy. And I, I'm going to say that I would really like it. Come on. Come on. Nope. There you go, guys. Yeah, here we go. And that kind of is a coffin-style handle. That I I, I kind of like that. I would like it to be more dramatic, but I'm a modder, so you know what I would do? I'd pop all those pins out of there. I would put a different handle on there. I got a nice piece of elk antler. I'd probably throw that on there and make a more dramatic one and carve it down into there and make a nicer coffin style. That is cool that they decided to go with the coffin style handle. Um, I want to see more of that. I like that. But it doesn't seem dramatic enough. And the reason why is because look how weight forward this, come on, look how weight forward this blade is. 
So centripetal force will want that make that blade want to come out of your hand. So I would want a more dramatic, but that is more dramatic than I remember it being. Maybe they changed it, but I would still want it to be more dramatic. And it's a hollow grind. Oh man! All right. Next knife purchase is probably that. Okay, guys. Um, let me know what you think. Huh? Have a good day, everybody.